Sports to the Bone family, what's up, what's up? How are you guys doing? Welcome back, welcome back. <clears throat> Brand new video, my viewers and subscribers. Have a couple of things to talk about in this one, alright? But before we go into the topics, I just want to say a shout out to all the persons that were able to make it on the live show last night. Uh, yes, indeed, we had, a, we had a wonderful time, you know, we were able to tackle a couple of topics. And quite a few of those topics will probably spill over into this video that I'm about to do. So those that were not on you will at least get an idea of some of the things that we, we, we spoke about. So, yeah man, we want to touch base with uh, this West Indies, this West Indies T20 squad. I think we have our first game on the 2nd of July. So, you know, probably going to look at a potential um, starting level. Know that we, we have gotten uh, some ideas relates to why a few players um, weren't named in the squad. You know, we're also going to be talking about Haley Matthews. She did, an, she did an interview and she was basically talking about what, you know, what she's, what she's actually expecting as she stepped into the role of captain in the West Indies senior women's team. So we're going to talk about all of that, my viewers and subscribers. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. Also, make sure you turn on that post notification bell. Leave a like and drop a comment. All right, so let us let us start off with the West Indies um, T20 squad. Right, we, we spoke about this at length in the live show last night. And I don't know, the 2nd of July, as I said, a couple of days time, we are, we are going to do battle in that first, um, first T20 game. You know, a couple of persons on the live show last night agreed that we are going to win the series while a couple of persons you know agreed that we are going to lose both t20 and odi series because we you know we probably are not going to be able to manage the the, the spinners that bangladesh will be putting forward you know um having said that i i am still going to be holding strong to my to my thing we are going to be winning both series you know, I'm not saying we're going clean sweep, no, but we're probably going to win both series. So just to just to reaffirm um, what we what the information that we got coming out of the press conference um, is that you know Shimran Hitmeyer is injured. Evan Lewis did make himself available for the fitness test. Um, I think they say Shellan Catchell is injured also, if I'm not mistaken, and you know Fabian Allen. He made himself unavailable. So those who missed the live show, we discussed all of that. And those were some of the reasons according to what came out of the, press, the CWI press conference. Why those players are not in the squad. So just to remind you now, the first T20 game will be on the 2nd of July, right? And um, that's in Dominica. It's been, it's been a while since we have had... Uh, any cricket over there in Dominica, I'm hoping that the fans will go out and support the, the, the guys. Hopefully they will cheer them on as they look to um as they look to see if they can secure you know the first the first game. The, the next uh, T20 will be the third and the third and final one will be on the 7th of July. So you know um the, the, the players have their hands full my viewers you know they have their hands full so that that, that is definitely something that that you know you can keep your eyes um, peel to. All right. So as it relates to a starting eleven now, as it relates to I relates to eleven that we probably can put out there out of this squad that is here. You know, more than likely, we're probably looking at. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to do a starting eleven before the game, right? Even though the game is all the way on Saturday, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to do a video talking about the starting eleven again. So while we are here. We we'll probably go um, Kyle Mears, Brandon King. Maybe go Shamar Brooks, Nicholas Puran. Right? Probably Puran can bat at three. I don't know. But say we go Shamar Brooks, Puran four. We go Ravman Powell five. Six we go Odin Smith. Right? Uh, seven we can go Romario Shepard if they. If, if, well, Kimo Paul probably. Kimo Paul. Uh, maybe at, at seven Kimo Paul. Seven. So Ravman Powell five. Odin Smith six. Kimo Paul seven. Right. Because uh, I think Kimo Paul might be taking over from 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 Romario Shepherd. So uh, you know we have Kimo Paul seven. We can have uh, Akil Hussein eight. 
think we're probably going to be using Alzari Joseph again, who would make nine. Obed McCoy, ten. Right? We have a we have a space for somebody else. Not sure who. You know, don't know if we're going to use Devon Thomas, but I, I am not using I am not using that 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 Nick spinner. You know. I, I know it's I know it's going to be rough to play only one spinner and you don't want you know you, you, you probably don't want to play one spinner, but based on the squad here. The only players left out that I didn't use would be Hayden Wash Jr. and um, Devon Thomas. Yeah, man. Hayden Wash Jr. and Devon Thomas. You know, not that I, I have anything against Hayden Wash Jr., but, you know, I, I, can't, I can't really manage his, his spin, spin any longer, yeah, man. So, we probably squeeze Devon Thomas in there to, to, to boost the batting. I, I think it, it might not make any sense, but you have to remember, guys, the squad. We have Nicholas Puran, right? Ravman Powell, Shamar Brooks, Aki Lusain, Alzari Joseph, Brandon King, Kyle Mears, Obed McCoy, Kimo Parr, Romario Shepard, Odin Simit, Devon Thomas, Hayden Wash Jr. Right? All of those guys fit into the team, into the starting eleven right away, except Hayden Wash Jr. for me, Devon Thomas, and probably Romario Shepard. So those are the three players that probably wouldn't get in out of that squad there. You understand? And then I, I you know, to make it up now, I think the that would be 10. To make it up, I would maybe squeeze in um, Devon Thomas. So the bowling would be Alzari Joseph, Obed Mackay, Kimo Paul, and Odin Smith. And then we would have, um, hold on, we have Alzari Joseph, Kimo Paul, Obed Mackay, Odin Smith, and, and um, Akil Hussein. Right? Uh, the, the, those are the, and then we know Kyle Mears would turn his hand over also. One of the all-rounders might not play based on the fact that we, we have Kyle Mears. I don't know how they're going to do it. But th th those are the 11 players that I would work with. But the comment section is open, my viewers and subscribers. If you want, you can go ahead and, and, and list your, your team in the comment section. But um, the, the first game is on the 2nd of July. And it's going to be pretty interesting to see how we set up um, going up against um, Bangladesh. It's going to be very interesting because, you know, we are, still, we are still trying to sort things out as it relates to the top of the order. And we are still trying to work on bowlers that will be consistent you know, in, in certain certain periods of the of the game for us. So, you know, we're going to keep an eye on that one. Uh, but just let me know your your starting eleven. Uh, the next thing that I want to zoom in on is uh, Haley Matthews. She was she was um she was she was placed in the role. Well, she was given the West in, the, the captaincy of the West Indies female team. You understand? She has taken over from Stephanie Taylor. We already sent congratulations out to her, you know, so we're just going to talk a little bit about a couple of the things that she said in the interview. She was saying that she's aware that it's going to be an on-the-job training for her. There are quite a few things that she's working on personally where her game is concerned, you understand? So she, she's aware that, you know, it's not going, she not, she's not going to be able to, 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 to get it right straight away, but she's willing to learn and she's willing to try and lead from the front. And she knows that she will be able to lean on the other players that are there, the senior players. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely something that she is embracing. And at age 24, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, you know, it's going to be a challenge, especially trying to get West Indies uh, female team back on top. You know, trying to get another World Cup. You know, but um, she's capable. She's capable. As I said, she, she, she has been playing um, international cricket for quite some time. She's pretty experienced and she's performing extremely well now. So it's maybe a good time for them to really go ahead and, and, and give it to her. So, you know, as she said, she's willing and she's going to be learning on the job. So hopefully, you know, she'll be able to lead from the front and it won't be too burdensome for her or it won't affect her, her performance in a negative way, you know, where her batting and her, and her uh, bowling is concerned. So... Just let me know what you think about Haley Matthews leading the team if you did not get a chance to comment on that one as yet, my viewers. And also, you know, um, we, do, we, we are not sure if we're going to get a chance to do a starting 11 before the second and um, before the first uh, T20. So you can go ahead and, and give me your starting 11 also. All right, my peeps, let's go and stay safe until later on. I'm out.